In this immigration update video, I want to just talk to you briefly about a new case which is really helpful on marriages of convenience in EEA law. It's called AGHO, it's 2015 EWCA Civ 1198 and it's a decision of the 26th of November 2015 with Lord Justice Underhill giving the, lead, the, well, the, the only judgment of the court in this case. It concerns a Nigerian student who married a French national who was exercising treaty rights in the United Kingdom. He then made an application for an EEA residence card which was refused by the Secretary of State. That was, there was an allegation of a marriage of convenience based on a visit to the property. That led to an appeal before the first tier tribunal and the first tier tribunal dismissed the appeal, uh, the appellant appeal to the upper tribunal and the upper tribunal upheld the decision finding no error of law in the decision of the first tier tribunal. The appellant went on an appeal to the court of appeal and the court of appeal found that the upper tribunal were wrong and should have overturned the decision of the first tier tribunal, that the appeal succeeded and that the appellant was in, uh, entitled to a residence card, so a really successful outcome. The first issue that the Court of Appeal consider is the burden of proof in marriages, marriage of convenience cases and they look at the decision of the, Mr Justice Blake when he was president of the Upper Tribunal, Papa Georgie. That's considered at paragraphs 11 to 14 of this judgment and it's worth having a look at those. At paragraph 13 towards the end they summarise the principles, I won't read them out to you but have a look at the principles that are summarised at the end of paragraph 13 and at paragraph 14 they quote paragraph 39 of Papa Georgie and the Court of Appeal state this, consistently with the prior discussion that formulation clearly places the burden of proof on the Secretary of State. So there's confirmation that Papa George is good law and that the burden of proof is on the Secretary of State to prove a marriage of convenience. The Court of Appeal go on to analyse the decision of the first tier tribunal and they find at paragraph 30 uh, that the decision of the first tier tribunal is flawed and that the first tier tribunal had adopted exactly the approach that was criticised in Papa George. They then go on to analyse the decision of the Upper Tribunal and par at paragraph 43 they say the Upper Tribunal was wrong not to overturn the decision of the First Tier Tribunal and there's a helpful critique of the reasoning of the Upper Tribunal at paragraph 43 of the Court of Appeal's judgment. So the Court of Appeal ultimately conclude, as I said earlier, that the appeal succeeds and the appellant is entitled to a residence card. This is a really helpful judgment. Firstly, you're going to want to rely on this in any cases where a marriage of convenience is alleged. Secondly, uh, it's helpful, as I've said earlier, in explaining that Papa George is correct and the burden of proof is on the Secretary of State. Uh, thirdly, there are useful analyses of the approach of the first tier tribunal and the upper tribunal and its consideration of the evidence always these cases turn on the evidence and the analysis of the evidence it by the Court of Appeal is very useful and helpful in drawing parallels. So as I say this is a very uh, helpful Court of Appeal judgment on EEA marriage of convenience cases which is worth having a look of. Thanks.